Hi, this is Buzz Cantor talking about motorcycles, and this is a fresh-picked barn find. It's a mix-and-match Indian Sports Scout. It's, I believe, a 39 frame and a 41 Sports Scout Bonneville motor. And this is as found. Um, the guy Tad we buy, are buying it from has had it for a number of years, and he's going to talk about it. We'll just do a quick walk around. So there's that beautiful Sports Scout motor with the oil pump on the outside. No chain guard. It's a, uh, a more modern coil there. A small seat, so it's if we back off, you can see how low that is. Uh, this, the low seat for a bobber. I think this fender is actually off an old uh, Harley shovel head, a front fender put on the back, and yes, it is a rigid. Uh, side mount license plate with a cat's eye. Uh, linkered carburetor, left side shift, which means right side throttle and the, f the f foot clutch. So front fender is missing. Uh, it is a real moto light, which is kind of cool. A lot of these got lost in the moto lamp and they replaced them with aftermarket stuff. And that's it. So we'll get Tad over here to talk us a little bit about the bike. Uh, once again, this is Buzz Cantor uh, talking about motorcycles. So hey, Tad. Hey, Buzz. I uh, originally bought this bike off a neighbor who lived around the corner uh, named uh, Danny Malcolm. And Danny was uh, an old school uh, bike guy, he hung around with a lot of Harley and uh, Hells Angels. He guy. was a one percenter, you said, wasn't he? Uh, well, yeah, he had that reputation. Um, and uh, he'd uh, always mentioned that he had this Indian motorcycle and myself being a uh, very interested in Indian motorcycles. My uncle owned an old uh, Jeep. Uh, Danny asked me one day if I'd be interested in buying this bike. Uh, I didn't know at the time that it was all in pieces. However, it was basically a motor uh, sitting on the frame with a set of gas tanks on it. So when I saw it the first time, I was a little, uh, I, I was a little taken aback. Um, <laughs> it wasn't a put in gas and go. Yeah, I wasn't really getting, uh, you know, really ready to get into a project like this. Uh, but then I found out that uh, Danny was uh, slowly dying of cancer. <laughs> um, and he wanted you to have it. <laughs> he needed the money and, and, he, and, he, and he wanted me to have it. Um, so he offered it to me and I, uh, I got involved in this project and uh, we had a mutual friend who uh, rebuilt motorcycle engines uh -huh. and uh, it took him a couple of years to get around to this uh, to this project himself but when he finally did he got right on it and uh, but I found out that I uh, had to research the internet for a lot of parts that uh, yeah included in all the boxes that I got with the bike yeah well the uh, bikes cool, and you wanted it as a bobber so you wanted no front fender and a little right, abbreviated I'm, back I'm definitely into bobbers um, so I didn't really care whether it had fenders or, or not. Very, very cool. I really just wanted the essentials. I wanted a running bike. I didn't want to restore the bike. Um, but the very cool thing is, is all the time that this was going on, Danny was fighting cancer. Um, he was getting a little worse. Um, it turned out to be mesothelioma because mm. he worked over in the uh, water bully arsenal and there was asbestos where he worked. Yeah. Um, so unfortunately, um, but my buddy Kim, who re rebuilt the motor, uh, called me up and said, your bike is running. Excellent. Um, Kim has an old uh, Harley's uh, with a sidecar on it. Uh -huh. It's like a 45. Okay. And well, this is a 45, 45 cubic inch. Uh, and we, we fired up uh, the Indian and he fired up his bike and we, we wrote, took a ride out to Danny's house, which is, was about seven miles. Uh, Danny was out at the end of the driveway. Uh, with his grandson, and when he saw this bike coming down the road all together in one piece, he, uh, he his face lit, lit right up like a Excellent. Christmas tree. Um, it's your gift back to him. And uh, he put his grandkid on it, and we took some pictures, and about a month later, Danny passed away. So well, I, I was able to get this bike together and running before that happened. Excellent. That's my story. Thank you so much. Well, there you have it, folks. This is Buzz Cantor, and I'm talking about motorcycles. If you like this, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel. Click the little button, the box on the bottom right. Thanks to Tad, and yes, there still are these bikes out in the 
basements and barns and garages. Uh, we're hoping to get this thing cleaned up and sorted out and back on the road soon. Thanks, and have fun riding.